Inuagata no Sahai is still my name. And you know, sometimes there are situations in organizations, situations in a team whereby you see that people are not open in communicating. You know, they don't want to express their views, they don't want to express their opinions, they don't want to make any contribution to team issues. And this kind of situation can best be described as negative silence. You know, I, there was a time I was uh, having a training session with a particular commercial bank, and then, you know, the a manager amongst them said, asked a question and said, how do you see a situation whereby, you know, I'm holding a team meeting with my people, trying to solicit for uh, suggestions and opinions on a particular team issue, and everybody just keep mute. You know, that, the definition to that kind of disposition of team members is killing, it's negative silence, uh, beg your pardon, negative silence. And negative silence, at the end of the day, always ripple down and resonate to poor outcomes, poor results for teams. You know, it affects productivity, you know, it affects performance, and, you know, we need to really watch it to see how we can, to a very great extent, reduce it to the barest minimum. What are some of the causes of negative silence. One of them is absence of psychological safety. When team members are not so confident that their psychology, their emotions, their self-esteem is secured, you know, team members become hesitant, you know, to make suggestions, to make contributions to team issues, so, you know, to team uh, costs, because they have seen situations whereby when, when they make contributions, when they make suggestions, you know, their, their self-esteem is, is, is hit, you know, their psychology is hit at, by, by way of the team leaders responding negatively to their contribution and to their suggestion. And so it is very important we try to see that as leaders we create an environment that has psychological safety, you know, in order for us to be able to avoid negative silence. The second one is the presence of dominant personalities in the team, especially the extreme extrovert team members that are extremely expressive and at the end of the day, they seem to just overwhelm and dominate the very quiet, introvert team members who, because of the, you know, very domineering disposition of the extreme extrovert, you know, those in, in, uh, quiet introverts, they just keep quiet. And at the end of the day, negative silence, you know, is still just uh, prevalent in the team. And then another cause of negative silence is when there is repeated cases of not valuing team members' input. Leaders don't value team members' input. You see a team head, a team leader, who, you know, seems to create a, a scenario for team members to make contributions. But since the last three years that that team has, you know, the, the, since the last uh, three years of its inception, you see that the team leader has never used any of the team leader's contribution or ideas as valuable as this idea may look as worthwhile as these ideas may look, the team leader, yes, he creates a platform for people to make contribution, but since the last three years, five years, and even 10 years, he has never used any of the team members' contribution or suggestion as worthwhile and as premium as they are. In such situations, you now see that team members just keep mute, you know, when it comes to you asking or soliciting for subsequent, uh, you know, team suggestions. So just like the commercial bank situation, you know, case scenario I mentioned just now, when a manager said, how do you see a situation whereby we are holding a team meeting, trying to deliberate on an issue the bank is facing or the branch is facing, and my team members, they just keep mute. Now, the question is, the suggestions they've been given in previous times, previous years, what have you been doing with them? If you have not been, you know, engaging anyone, if you have not been applying anyone, if you, if it's just all about them making suggestions and contribution, you know, without you at least even using one as premium as those ideas and suggestions are, it will come to a time whereby you are asking for just for suggestions and contributions. They will keep mute, and that is negative silence. That is not good for the progress and advancement of the team. The fourth one is conflict aversion. You know, there are some team members who don't want disagreement. They don't want conflict. They don't want to have any disharmony, you know, with any team member. And 
even when they have issues that is bothering them, they just keep quiet just because they are trying to avoid disagreement. You know, what this will result to at the end of the day is that there will be so many team issues that have not been sorted out, that have not been resolved. And this can brew, you know, cold war in the system. Negative silence should be avoided. The fifth one, as I move towards conclusion, is fear of hierarchy. You know, there are some team members who, when they are holding team meetings and there is the presence of the manager, the HOD, the superior, these team members are very afraid, you know, they are afraid to fully express themselves, you know, to actually talk about what the challenges and the problems in the team. They feel that fully expressing themselves may result to the team uh, leaders, the manager, the supervisor, the director, taking things personal with them. You know, and at the end of the day, they just keep mute, and that is negative silence in the team. The concluding one this morning is absence of trust in the team. Team members don't trust one another. Team members don't trust the team leader. Team members feel that the team leaders don't trust them. And at the end of the day, you are just going to see a situation whereby everybody don't want to talk, nobody wants to make contribution, everybody just wants to keep quiet. And the major drawback of negative silence is poor decision making. Because in the decision process, there is no quality contribution of ideas. There is no worthwhile suggestion to the decision making. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, the leader will arrive on a decision that may not be a quality one because it will just be from him. Nobody knows it all. No man is an island. We know in part, and you need the parts of every other team member, you know, to analyze, to look at, and then choose the best decision amongst them. I believe that lots of value have been added to you today. It's so important that you continue to stay with me on this segment every Wednesday by this time. And then let's see how we can build a better society, a better Nigeria. Connect with me on my social media handles. Just enter Inuagata Nosahai on any of the social media handles. Is it Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Thread? Let's discuss. Let's take this conversation. I will send your questions across, and then we build a better environment for ourselves. So I'll be seeing you next week, Wednesday. And when I return, I'll remain in Nuagata. No, Sahai. Your day is so blessed. Thank right. you.